Hello everyone, welcome back to another EFC TV Transfer Rumours video. Um, this video won't be as long as the other ones because uh, there's not as, as many transfer rumours or not really any outgoing transfer rumours. Um, but I'm sure in the next few days that would, that would change because you know transfer window is coming to a, coming to a close. Um, yeah, so we'll just get straight into the video. So our first transfer rumour is uh, Jasper Sillison. Um, the 31 year old goalkeeper from Valencia. Last season he made 38 appearances, had 10 clean sheets, um, conceded a goal every 81 minutes, so he conceded 42 goals. Uh, when you look at comparing to Pickford, Pickford had 50 appearances. Um, that's in all competitions with Pickford, 15 clearances, clean sheets, um, conceded 60 goals, which is 70 goals per minute. So just per minute, Jasper Sillison. Oh, he's got the better, um, better ratio. So, I think he'd be a good goalkeeper, especially like you know he's thirty one, but realistically, a goalkeeper can keep on playing until they're a bit older. Um, and I think with his experience, you know, he's played for Barca, being at Valencia, he he's had a lot of first team football, and I think ju just even even if he doesn't make the number one, um, spot. He he'll push Pickford all the way. Like um, he he'll make Pickford work for the spot, which is, you know, which is one one thing that no one's really done at the club. They haven't really contested Pickford for his space. So I would be happy with the Aspasillas at the club. Next player is um, Sergio Romeo, the Man United goalkeeper. He's uh, thirty three years of age. Um, he had seventeen games, twelve clean sheets, conceded five uh, goals. Um, and you know, as you see there, nine catches, five punches, and one hundred and seven uh, successful dis dis distributions. I can't say that word, but um, for seventeen games, twelve clean sheets. You know, Pickford had fifty appearances and he made fifteen clean sheets. So it's literally the comparison isn't even there. He's he's a you know Premier League proven goalkeeper. I would be really happy with him at the club, um, but I wouldn't spend. An excessive amount of money on him, you know, because he is thirty three. Um, but yeah, I would be really happy if he comes to the club because, you know, he, he's a goalkeeper that could possibly take the number one sp space off Jordan Pickford. Um, he's a good goalkeeper as as you know we know, even just by the stats. So yeah, I would be happy with him at the club. Our next player is um, Milik from Napoli, a twenty six year old striker. He made nineteen appearances. This is just in the league. Um, got 11 goals, no assists, made 2.6 shots per game, 0.4 dribbles per game, 0.8 key passes per game, 17.8 average passes and his strongest attributes are his long shots, finishing and holding the ball. So it, just by that we know he's, we can tell he's a very physical striker if he's good at keeping the ball up. And um, when we look at him compared to Dominic Albert lewin Lewin played 20 more games, Lewin got 20, uh, 2 more goals, 1 more assist, he had less shots per game. Same dribbles, less key passes, and less average passing. Um, so I feel like Milik is just that more experienced striker who will get in the team a lot. You know, if we if we do manage to get him, um, you know, he, he'll definitely challenge Lewin for that for that you know um, starting position up front. Unless unless we sort of play Rick Charlson on. I don't I don't know how you would do it. I I. I Probably think we'd have to change up the formation and probably put Gomez on the bench, play Allen alongside Decore, and Rodriguez more in the middle. I don't know if we get him, they'll know they'll know how to fit him into the team. Um, yeah, but you know, he's a very clinical striker. Nineteen appearances, eleven goals. Um, he just bring a lot more firepower to to the front line. Um, yeah, he'd be a be a really good signing in in my opinion. So yeah, the next player is one we've all we all know we all love. Kurt Zuma, free Zuma. Um, twenty five year, years of age, made twenty five appearances, got no goals, no assists, no point eight tackles, four clearances per game, uh, two point one interceptions. Uh, average passing is seventy four point three, and his stronger attributes are his passing and ball interceptions. Um, you know, compared to Keane, he's got Keane, Keane has more games, so so that. 
could affect it. He's only got six more games, but can still affect it. Keane got more goals, uh, 0.2 more tackles, 0.8 more clearances. Got less interceptions and less average passing. But, you know, we all know Zuma from when he had, his, he had the loan spell at, at Everton. Um, and I thought he was a brilliant defender. I was gutted that we couldn't get him. He was just very physical. And you, you knew he was there. Like, he, he wouldn't go quiet in the game. He'd make some big challenges. And I think j just adding him to the players that we've got at the club, especially like Decore and Dean, you know, there's that French connection. I I can just be boss and... You know, he, he was only on loan like a, a few years ago, so there's still a lot of players at the club that, that know him. Um, I think he would be a brilliant addition to the squad. So yeah, I'd love Zuma to come back to uh, come back to Goodison Park. So our next one is I'll go and transfer. Uh, Dennis Adarian, he was so I made I put this one in um, earlier on in the week. This is a done done deal. He's, he went out to the way uh, on loan. He was training with Wickham Wanderers, um, and then he actually started in their game against Swansea, I believe. They did get beat that game, but um, but you know, it was was a hard game. So that's it from today. If you if you enjoyed the video, please like. Um, if you know anything I don't know, like other transfers, uh, anything on the players already said, uh, comment that down below. And I've been appreciating uh, your support recently, so. Um, if you have been enjoying the videos, please subscribe and yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.